we're talking about hundreds, at least 300. It's so sad. This was a family affair, a labor of love, and all for a good cause. New cell phone video shows the fierce fight. The flames were ruthless. Blake's exotic animal ranch to teach school children about conservation. This was his life's work. We came a very, very, very long way from literally today, 365 days ago today. All right, you guys, welcome back to Blake's Exotic Inner Ranch. Today, you guys, I need you guys to make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so that we can hit 600,000 subscribers. We came a very, very, very long way from literally today, 365 days ago today. This morning, it was a complete normal day here on the ranch. Well, yeah, the ranch, you guys. And it was a normal day yesterday, today, 365 days ago, so 364 days ago, last day or this day, a very amazing animal hatched out here on the ranch. It was the best day of my life. Avatar was born. Unfortunately, he did pass away around eight months later. But anyways, because of that, that was one best days of my life. Then, 24 hours later, you guys, exactly today, last year, I was going to lunch with my mom. There was a big storm here, a bunch of things happened. Nothing was, it was a perfect day. Nothing out of the ordinary, normal South Florida rainstorms, things of that sort, whatever, whatever. We were at lunch and I got these phone calls, people freaking out that the barn that's behind me, before this barn, the, it got caught on fire. And when it got caught on fire, I did not believe it. I did not believe that actually my building, it was happening to me, this, all the situations. We were coming down, we we're hauling butt back to the house. And when I saw the big thing of smoke, it was literally a day just like this, blue skies. Amazing beautiful day right after the storm the storm was cleared out and I saw the smoke about five six miles away And when I saw that smoke That's when uh, my heart dropped and then I had no idea What to do and I literally freaked out because the amount of turtles and tortoises and fish and animals that were inside of this barn Was heartbreaking to pull up to see literally flames you guys will see right now all the flames that are happening and It was a day that was literally unforgettable literally last night. I was just thinking about it that 365 days ago, I was in my bed like a normal freaking day and that the next day it was gonna be a complete different day and that my whole life is gonna change completely. Yeah, it was absolutely insane, you guys. The whole barn straight down in 20 minutes, life work of all different animals, taking care of, um, growing them all up, putting so much time, sweat, and blood into it all so that these animals can have the best lives and then gone in 20 minutes was absolutely heartbreaking guys it was absolutely the worst day of my life um but 365 days later we're here right now and two months ago we added i was able to work my butt off nothing stopped me i just literally took me a week of holy crap my whole barn is gone everything was gone all my life work all my animals all my pets were gone it was just absolutely insane and i just hit myself in the head and just kept pushing through marching through and had so many people around the neighborhood so many fans and people helped out on youtube family friends everybody around helped out the reptile community animal community everybody has helped out people donated people did different things and then i just worked i worked my butt off i just kept on posting you guys videos working with youtube doing my own things just grinding guys literally just grinding my butt off so that i could get this building right here and people are saying right now why don't have you put anything inside of the barn well, to be honest, I was kind of waiting for this day, pretty much like not an anniversary, but pretty much the day that the barn left. I wanted just to wait till this day has passed. And literally the day you guys are watching this video is the day that at 2 p.m. the whole building was gone. You saw, you see all the flames and everything. I was really upset. I was screaming at everybody. I mean, it was the worst day of my life, you guys. And yeah, now we are here and we built it back. The ranch has completely changed up. We have a massive building now. Different things are happening now. I mean, we have right now at this point we have over 455,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane we're about to hit 500,000 subscribers amazing you guys i mean the ranch fam is growing absolutely rapidly really really quick so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel put those post notifications on because Blex exotic animal ranch is literally transforming into noah's ark a little miniature zoo for you guys to watch through the lens which is absolutely insane and for this situation now with so many people wanting to come to the ranch i have the day in the wild event out in winwood that will be happening july 6th that you guys will see and you guys can come and actually meet me so you guys can fly in you guys can drive there you guys do any kinds of things you guys can meet me there at july 6th and meet some of the animals that you guys love dearly on 
through YouTube, through the lens, you guys can meet them at the Winwood event, Day of the Wild, July 6th, you guys. So make sure you guys come, check me out. Follow me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram to get all different types of information about that event. But what we are gonna do now is, I'm gonna walk you guys over here and show you pretty much where everything was before and what the new plans are so you guys know what's happening for any of the new subscribers here on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. And then after that, we're gonna get in the truck, head down to Winwood because I have an artist gonna be there right now and he's gonna be drawing up, well, painting, spray painting, a whole nice little sculpture. Well, not a sculpture, a design, pretty much this design right here on the wall over there in Winwood for you guys to see, take pictures of if you guys come to the July 6th event. All right, guys, so let's start walking this way. And this would be my normal day routines of going to this side of my barn before the barn was burnt down. And literally right here was probably, not probably, was over a hundred different species of turtles, tortoises, and things that were getting hatched and raised here on the ranch in this whole section right here. Today, 365 days ago, this point right here, um, there was turtles here, many different tortoises, radiated stars, aldabres, Chinese box turtles, all different types of tortoises, just some of them on the top of my head that were just here happily ever after this morning before 2 p.m. After 2 p.m., everything was literally gone, you guys. I mean, it's like insane. There's actually still stuff here from the fire two years later. I mean, look, like this was a rock. If I could get it out. Nope, there's a rock there. Like this is a fish tank. I had a 300 gallon beautiful acrylic fish tank that was there. Gone. There's just still pieces here from before. Nails and stuff still here from before. Really upsetting, but yeah, this was the spot where there was a lot, a lot of different types of turtles. But um, I wanted to tell you guys, let's come over here out of the sun. But um, where this was here, we rebuilt an area on the other side of the barn. And this is an absolute massive overhang spot that would be replaced and pretty much built just like something like this but in a high new better tech way that i've learned from different facilities different people and different ideas that will be getting built on this side as well that is uh three times the size for more turtles more tortoises and it's going to be built a lot more efficient so that anything can happen i don't know i'm just trying to figure things out to make it a lot better than before but let's stand underneath here in the side, inside the shade you guys so many people that were subscribed to me way way back in the day i'm sure they're still subscribed to me um they pretty much said that I should name the new building once I got the new building, Phoenix. And Phoenix, it's a bird that goes up in flames when it dies, but is born again from its ashes. And as you guys can see, we built a massive new barn in less than 365 days before the barn burnt down again, so in the new year. And yeah, we built this massive barn, you guys. And then another thing that's pretty cool, it says, as the legend goes, when the Phoenix resurrects from the flames, she is even more beautiful than before. And I mean, yeah, I mean, it actually happened, you guys. We grinded, we worked, we did what we had to do. I made as many, God, these flies are crazy, as many videos as I can for you guys so we could get to this point. And look at this. We made it two stories. Nothing's inside yet, but I mean, we're just grinding. We're trying to, I'm trying to make it and plan it so it's perfect to how I want it to be from so many different resources and different ideas and different facilities i'm pretty much just trying to make it all into one and make it here to make this amazing facility right here on blake's exotic animal ranch but um yeah we definitely got born from the ashes you guys and like we got this massive barn now absolutely insane and like i said before i put those post notifications on because we are going to be doing some amazing things inside of the barn and we haven't even started yet put those post notifications on you guys because we have absolutely insane Crazy content coming very soon here on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. But what we're going to do now is we're going to head down to Miami, you guys. And I'm going to go show you what the event is going to consist of and what we're going to have there. It's going to be absolutely insane. So I will see you guys in Wynwood, Miami area. See you there.
right, you guys, we just got to the spot, the Winwood event spot, the Day in the Wild spot event area. And this is gonna be the whole spot where there's gonna be a bunch of vendors, a lot of different things are gonna be here. It's gonna be absolutely insane. You guys see there's paint and stuff all over the round because we're in Winwood, Miami area. And right here, I got this little spot right here. And this little spot, I'm gonna have the whole design that I have on my back that's gonna go here. The artist is inside, he's waiting for it to get a little cooler out because here in South Florida, you guys know it's real hot. So when you guys come to that day event, prepare to be hot, you guys, and probably bring a bottle of water because it's gonna be hot. And they're gonna put the whole design here. It's gonna be really awesome. You guys can take pictures and different things there. It's gonna be a really cool little spot, a memorial. What, how do you wanna say that, Dylan? A little mural. A little mural, there you go. A little mural spot right here that you guys can take pictures of when the petting zoo or all my animals will be here that you guys can meet as well. But um, I'm gonna get the artist out real quick and he can tell you guys his Instagram. If you guys would like to follow him, you can. And I will see you guys back at the house as soon as he's done telling you guys his Instagram. <laughs> all right, you guys, so this is the artist right here, Channel. How are you? And he's the one that's doing this whole thing that I just talked to you guys about. And his Instagram will be right there. You want to tell him I don't know, anything about your Instagram, what you do? Yeah, Channel Art. And I do murals and paintings. And follow me. And yeah, come to go. the event on Saturday, definitely. You guys can see the art that he's doing here. It's going to be really awesome. But yeah, make sure you guys follow him on Instagram, you guys. And I will see you guys back at the house. All right, you guys, we just got back from the Winwood Miami Day in the Wild event area where the event will be at back here on the ranch. As you guys can see, all the animals are in the back. Uh, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed today's video, showing you guys the whole process of everything. Not even the process, pretty much that today has been exactly 365 days since the tragedy that happened here on the ranch with the burn, with the fire that happened here. Uh, we are here on a big comeback and I would love to see every single one of you guys there at that event. So pretty much try to make it out there, you guys. It's gonna be from 10 to six. It's gonna be a small entry fee at the gate. You guys will be able to get a band. There's gonna be a small entry fee to be inside of the meet and greet with all the exotic animals and things of that sort. That will be pretty much from here that I'm gonna pick and choose different animals that you guys love to see here on the ranch that will be there at the meet and greet. I'll have them there for a few hours. So make sure you guys come and meet me there at the meet and greet, you guys. So subscribe to the channel, you guys, because here on the ranch, we're gonna have I've always said it, but there's gonna be so many different things happening on the ranch all the time. Put those post notifications on you guys. The ranch fam is really, really strong actually. And it's really impressive to me to have all this stuff here and that literally a year and a half ago, I decided to make a YouTube channel and look how far we have gotten you guys. We're almost at 500,000 subscribers guys. Half a million subscribers. That is absolutely insane. We have fans, we have ranch fam, people from all around the whole entire world. That is absolutely amazing and you guys, that building doesn't even have one living creature in there yet. That is absolutely insane. And look how much content we have. So wait until we have that building set up and ready to go. It's going to blow your minds away, you guys. Put those post notifications on, you guys. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the upcoming video. And make sure you guys come to the Win Win event. Make sure you can follow me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram. All the information is on there. I'll see you guys then. <laughs>